All right, I'm David Oakley with Halot Group, Bill Jacks. Um, we've been, uh, Bill Jacks has uh, been manufacturing in the U.S. for 60 plus years, and we've been building uh, tow behinds for over 20 years now. We have, uh, this is our largest tow behind. It's a 55 foot platform with a 33 foot side reach. We make six models. Um, from a 26 foot up to the 55 foot. Uh, three models of stick booms and three models of knuckle booms. These are all, the tow behinds are all made in the USA in Northwest Ohio. Uh, powder coat painted, two inch ball, hydraulic surge brake or electric, parking brake. This is all standard. This is a standard unit too, by the way. There's no, there's no options on this unit. We use really large size dolly tires so you can maneuver the unit around by hand. Uh, safety valves, we have emergency lowering valves on each one on each cylinder along with a uh, hand pump. Air and water, standard on all of our units to the platform, 4,000 PSI water line, air line. Um, we have a generator platform that we put on all the units where you can, customer could put their own uh, at least a 2500 watt generator and you can plug it in, there's a plug here, there's uh, straps to tie it down with that you could basically run, that, that plug runs your 110 to the platform and runs your battery charger. We do offer as an option a hybrid unit which would be a nine horsepower Honda 4,500 watt continuous generator mounted on this platform. Outrigger foot pads, uh, we do offer the, the largest. These are 12 and a half inch diameter. They are also plastic coated. This is standard. This is not an option for this is for use indoors. Forklift pockets on every model. You can uh, lift it with a forklift or you can put a sling on there and pick it up with a crane. <clears throat> Dexter free backing axle with also has the Dexter Easy Lube system in it. So you can uh, back it with a surge brake. You can back up a hill or over a curb and the brakes will not lock up on it. Control panels, the upper and lower control panels are pretty much identical. This is nice when your uh, customer's training your first time operator. They can train them on the ground controls and there's no need to train them on a second set of controls in the platform. Hour meters, this is standard. It has two hour meters. It shows your actual run time and it shows the switch on time. And if this had an engine on it, you could also look at your engine hours and RPMs. This will also give you codes if a switch, uh, if it's an error occurring as far as a switch or something sticking, this will give you a code. You can look it up in the book and it'll say left outrigger switch sticking or, or something like that. With, with the hybrid option too, it's nice. You can choke and start the engine from the ground or the platform. <clears throat> Batteries, you've got four, six volt, 245 amp. That's the highest in the industry. Everybody else is about 220 amp. The batteries swing out on both sides so you can check your water levels. Cephcon motor controller got an additional 110 outlet at the bottom. If you did have the hybrid engine, uh, you could plug in something here. Otherwise, it's just the battery charger plugs in. It's a 30 amp DC smart charger. Uh, shuts off automatically um, when it reaches full charge. It also will do a complete charge in eight hours. It'll do a 80% charge in three and a half hours. Platform, uh, all of our tow behinds are 500 pound, two man basket. The basket does, uh, if you want to take the basket off, it comes off real easily, one pin. 
you can take it off. And the reason we do that is we do offer, as an option, a material lifting hook on all of our models. So this can convert in about five minutes, no tools, into a 500-pound crane. And when you have that um, attachment on, there's an extra six feet a cord or so on the upper control box, and it would just plug into the lower control box so you could stand away from the unit, run the crane, and it will tell you how much you're lifting. It has a load scaling system. And it tells you how much you're lifting. You go over 500 pounds. It'll say boom overload. It'll beep, and it won't let you lift it. We do also offer a, plat a manual platform rotator. Rotates the basket about 90 degrees. Uh, that's on all models. Rotator. Our setup time on this unit is about 30 seconds. And it's uh, auto level. It'll auto level up to 12 and a half degrees. You can. Um, manually override the auto level, and I found that I can get it on close to a 20 degree slope, but not with the auto level. So it's just as easy as push and hold two buttons until the machine stops moving, and it's within one degree of level. And you'll notice how fast these go down. Uh, it's about half the time of anybody else's outrigger deployment. That's because we use a regen hydraulic system. And it stops and it's level. There's nothing to look at. Um, it does give indicator lights for each foot pad. Uh, two lights. One light is telling you that it's level in that direction, and the other tells you that that foot pad has made contact with the ground. The controls, it's a four speed control. So you can run it as slow as this up to high speed. One other feature we have that no one else has is what's called a negative boom geometry. And what that does, it just gives us more working envelope. And that's that from there that angle. With the upper or the lower boom uh, straight up, that would give you 33 feet from the center of the machine. The outrigger footprint on this one is uh, 13 by 13. Uh, the stowed dimensions, it's five foot five wide. Uh, it will go through a standard double doorway for use indoors. We also have 700 degrees rotation. Um, most companies use either 410 or, or 359. We have 700, so it'll basically do almost one complete turn in each direction. And our, um, we do have a, a bleed down hydraulic system, uh, but it's also controllable by the, the um, speed control, so you can come down fast or slow with it.
there's two switches, uh, safety switches, in the boom rest, and then there's there's two off the back of it. So, like right now, your uh, outriggers are disabled, safety feature. You can't run your outriggers until the, the front of the boom is stowed and the back stowed. We do have, um, I was telling you, we had the, the it'll give you uh, fault codes on here, but you also can plug in if you want to change any of the values on the speeds or whatnot. You can plug in a laptop. It's a serial port on the side, and the uh, software is on our website for that. And that's about it. Jib, the uh, extension section in the platform or aluminum. And are there other size platforms no. available? No. The, the One size. It's a crane jib, it's about, it's pyramid shaped, it's about this long and it has a hook on it. And there's just a, um, similar to this piece, a bracket and it just stows here and you, you unpin it, you take, you pull the pin out of the basket, set the basket off and it pins in and it's just a hook. Uh, we, we sell a lot of them at uh, hardware shows, uh, people doing uh, setting trusses. Works really well. It's what? Right. Yeah. No winch. No. No. It just hangs right off the end. The hook's right on the end of the boom. I've had people um, use them for uh, light poles, setting light poles. Uh, trees, trusses in the, uh, when building homes. And we do offer, I think I forgot to mention, we do offer drive and set for all of our machines where you can drive it in the stowed position from the platform. And it's a push button drive and gauge. You don't have to get out uh, and you can work your outriggers. You can do everything from the platform. Okay. Great, thank you. Thank you.